When I first got the call about being selected to the Hall of Honor, um, well, it was actually, I declined it twice. <laughs> it was an un, I didn't recognize the number, sorry. <laughs> um, I immediately thought back to my four years here. Uh, I came from a small town in Oklahoma. Um, I thought I was big time. Uh, Coach Blair made sure on the first day of practice to remind me I was not. <laughs> Uh, when he said, I can't remember where I got you from, but when I do, I'm going to send you back there. <laughs> I looked at my teammates and I'm like, can he do that? <laughs> and then the next thought was, oh my gosh, my dad's going to kill me. <laughs> so, um, my career was, you know, a roller coaster at times. I think kind of like all of ours, uh, had some amazing highs, like playing in the Final Four, uh, went in the WMIT in front of a packed house at Bud Walton, which was amazing, and then having the opportunity to play in the WNBA. Um, there were a lot of lows as well, uh, since I got to spend a lot of quality time in the training room, um, shooting slumps, and unfortunately, those losing streaks we all have. But we also made some lifelong memories with trips to places like New York City and Hawaii and Australia. On big trips, Coach Blair would always uh, have a sightsee at these random places. Uh, many of those sightseeing trips we didn't understand at the time, but now uh, I've come to realize those were some of my favorite memories with not just my teammates, but my coaches as well. Um, through it all, I have to give thanks to God. Um, he knew exactly where I needed to be. Um, and that was here at the University of Arkansas. Um, he knew that this was the place to really help me grow uh, with the teammates that I had and the coaches that we had here. Um, you know, they just really poured into you. Um, to my parents, uh, a huge thank you to them. They... Um, pushed me on and off the court to be the best at everything and do my best no matter what. Um, they allowed me to vent when things were hard. And then, you know, they said, okay, we'll stop complaining and just work harder. <laughs> um, to my brother, I definitely have to thank him because um, he was one of my biggest fans, but uh, we were very competitive. And so there was some trash talking so I had to work really hard to make sure I didn't give any, any extra material. Um, to my teammates, I was very fortunate to play with some amazing teammates over the years. Um, I had two amazing point guards and Amy Wright and Christy Smith uh, that made me look really good. <laughs> um, but not just on the court, uh, but off the court, you know, we really helped each other, you know, grow up and, through hard times in life. And a lot of those women have now become some of my lifelong, like closest friends. Uh, to our coaches, um, they pushed us for greatness every day. Um, you know, Coach Blair and Coach Schaefer, Coach Schaefer made me learn to guard. And <laughs> when I didn't want to, I just wanted to shoot. Um, <laughs> but um, they really pushed us to be the best that we possibly could on and off the court. And like Coach Shirey and Coach T and Coach Neighbors, like to this day are still, you know, three of the first people that I call when I need advice. Um, to my husbands and sons, they get to hear a lot of old stories. Thank you for listening and entertaining me. Um, but also thank you for being here to share this, this night with me. And, and lastly, you know, to the university, just thank you for this opportunity. Um, I had an amazing four years here. Um, it's a tremendous honor for me to the voters. Thank you so much for everyone who uh, voted me into this Hall of Honor with this amazing group of people. Um, it's a tremendous honor, not just for me, but for my family and for my teammates and coaches. Thank you.